What is up, guys? It is Zach Ploche. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Tailwind's or Tailwind CSS's IntelliSense to work on a local project only using the CDN. So let's get into it. Uh, we're going to be creating a new folder. Tailwind short, just because it's a short video. So open up with code. We're going to bring this here, create a new HTML file that we're going to be using with Tailwind. So index.html, let me rename that. There we go. Open this up here. We're going to insert the, nope, link CSS. Uh, actually, no, it's going to be a script source. And we're going to get the Tailwind Play CDN. So Tailwind Play CDN. Going to copy this link right here. Actually, we could just grab this because we're just putting it in a script tag. So grab that, paste that here. And um, now, we will be able to use Tailwind in our CSS file or in our HTML file. So we can start a live server just to make sure and see that it's working. So if I say body of BG or um, let's see, style equals BG Cyan 700, 700, and I meant class, let's see. Class equals BG Cyan 700 or 600. Boom. Okay. So we see that it's working. However, what we don't see is the one tailwind um, colors working. So there's no like colors behind this BG Cyan. And if I say like text um, gray 100, let's say, and then I say H1, hello world, like so. Or if I make it red, Oh, wait, whoops, sorry. Let's see. Let's say text 7XL, like so. All right, so now we have this big text, and let's make it like red and 400. So, uh, like, I couldn't really see what color that was going to show up as. Um, and if I make it like something darker, like 600. Yeah, like I can still kind of tell, but I can't like really. So all we have to do in order to fix this and add Tailwind's, uh, Tailwind's IntelliSense to our project. So uh, first, of course, you'll need the extension. So if you don't already have it, you'll need to install this Tailwind CSS IntelliSense into your VS code. Uh, the only other thing to do is all you have to do is just create a tailwind.config.js file and uh, it can actually be empty. So now that we have this, um, if we, Let's see, give it a second because now it, it's actually activating. Yeah, it's initializing. Uh, but a bomb. Text. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah. So as you can see, it finally popped up. It just took a second for it to load. But yeah, if you just add this empty tailwind.config.js file after you have the um, uh, after you have the extension installed, um, it will start to give you suggestions again. So in any HTML file, even if you don't, like if you're not actually using the config uh, JS, you can still have it here. Uh, so yeah, that is the extremely simple way. So if I say red, I can pick any correct color now. It may even be dark red, emerald, cyan, whatever. Cyan, uh, let's see, 200. That'll look weird, but yep. And it's still working. So that is the entire video. Just super short to the point. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye for now.